Welcome to how to submit a Cabrillo file. I'm going to present how to pre submit it using N3 FJP's contest loggers, and it's the same just about any contest he has. This would be an example of what his contest loggers look like. They're all pretty similar, and all you would do is go up to File, Write a Cabrillo File, and you hit that. That brings up this form and you just fill it in. You put your contest and all the contests are listed there. Single operator, fixed, one transmitter, your power, I use high. I use spotting, so it's assisted. I'm using all bands and in this contest it was sideband, so there's your mode. Time and overlay, category overlay, only apply in special situations and not very common. You put your call and your club, and then your name, your email, uh, your call sign, you'd put your grid in there, and your address. And that's all there is to it. Then you just hit write Gabrilla file. It will then take you to a directory, and usually it's going to be documents, Affirmatech, N3, FJP, and then the name of the contest. And it will always save the log as your call dot log. I add after my call sign the contest name and the year. And then I can keep them all separate and you hit save. Once you've done that, then you're going to hit this right here that I'm my cursor is on. And it, depending on the contest, it'll be different. Like this one was an ARRL contest. It could say CQ or something else. But once you are ready to submit it, you just hit that. And that brings up a form something like this. And now all we got to do is put, was it an HF contest, a VHF or 220 and up? Put your address in, your call sign, and your location. And we're Section 7. Eastern Washington, you put your grid, and then uh, you select your club. Again, you're going to have to go way down to get to the Spokane DX club, but you'll find it about 80% of the way down. You put your power, if you use spotting, and then uh, how many people operated. The real important is right here where you choose the file. We just hit this and it will take us to where we saved it. And now all of a sudden you see the file name appears. The only thing left to do is hit submit log. And once you do that, it will send it directly to them. And that's all there is to it. Well, you can see how simple it is. It just takes a couple of minutes. I would encourage you to do it after every contest. Submit your log. Uh, it helps for all kinds of reasons, but it also gives you a chance to see how your score was. Thank you for this. Okay, let's talk about how to uh, to have N1MM make a Cabrillo file and then how you uh, submit that to the contest sponsors. This is what uh, your screen might look like uh, in N1MM after you finish the contest. This particular one is mine from 2019 at the end of uh, CQ Worldwide uh, CW. So the contest is over. So we're all done. We've made all the contacts we're going to. So what we want to do to make the Cabrillo file is go to File, click on it, and then over here to Generate Cabrillo file. So we mouse over it and we click on that. And you get this little message that uh, says that uh, the Cabrillo file will be generated using the sent exchange, which is three, which is our zone. And the RST is added for that contest and then some more stuff. But then, but uh, since you did that all correctly in the setup, you say OK. And then there's another little uh, warning and it says your category is single op assisted one transmitter all band cw mode low power fixed or at least that's what it says for mine and make sure all those things are correct that was a single op and i used the internet to spot things that's what the assisted means i just had one transmitter i did all the bands it was cw 
low power less 100 watts or less and i didn't wander around i just stayed at home that's the fixed so are you sure that's it and yes i am so you say yes and then in one mm always saves them to this same place to n1 the n1 mm logger plus that's the things that you can change on my computer i have two hard drives so it's on the the d drive if you only have one uh hard drive then it'd be on the c but the thing to remember this is where the uh the files that can get changed in one mm puts things in two places one uh where the things don't get changed that's in uh program files parentheses x86 i think that's the right name and then another one that does get changed that's in n1 mm logger plus and it always puts the log in export files so that's up there at the top i think that you might have to turn that on in uh, windows explorer i'm not sure that's a default but that's where they always go and then the name down here is always the calls that you used in this case me k7tq and then dot log so you say save and then you get uh, this window that says the exports complete and you get three choices down here at the bottom edit email and cancel if you want to edit it you can go immediately to click on the edit and it will bring up uh, net window it'll bring up it'll bring up an ascii editor the the default one uh, but let's don't do that email you might think that that's a good thing to do and it isn't a bad thing to do but if you read more closely here above where my uh, cursor is says you can mail your cabrillo file to logs at superpartialcheck.com and then you have to have an email program configured on your computer well logs at superpartial or at yeah at superpartial supercheckpartial.com is not the contest sponsor that's where the uh, super partial check comes from that you should have downloaded at the beginning of the, the contest so in general i don't do that uh, but that's not where how you submit it so what you want to do is or what i always do what i suggest is cancel at this point and it got saved uh it says down here exported 451 contacts to that that particular path all right now let's get out of n1mm or i'll minimize it and you go to your uh file explorer open it and here again i have two hard drives and an external one and it's on the d drive so i'll click on the d and then scroll down to where n1mm logger is and then export files and there's the log and at this point it's probably worth i think it is worthwhile take a look at it so double click on it and notepad that's the name of the file i was trying to think of all this information at the top comes from how you set up uh, the station data in one mm in n1 mm so you should look at that and make sure everything's okay uh, i didn't have club on this one but you would you can put the club in uh, all in caps spokane dx so, Spokane DX Association, if it's not already filled in, uh, make sure that all the other things are right. They should be, they will be fine if you set up uh, the station data okay. And if you made any changes, of course, then you need to save it and then close it out. Then what I always do, all the file, all of your logs will get put in export files and the name won't change. So I put them in a I put each of the logs in a different place. So again, we'll open the export, I mean, uh, file explorer. And I have a directory that I call contests. 
here contests. And there's all the uh, all the contests that I participated in. This particular one was CQ Worldwide, and it's for 2019. I have them all by year, but I'm gonna just make this a dummy one. So we'll say it's a new folder. So we click on that and you type in 2019 and I'm just gonna put some A's by it so I don't confuse it or I don't confuse me. And then you open that. Then take your K7TQ, your log and drag and drop it over to the, uh, the folder that has the CQ Worldwide and for that particular year. Then you close export files. Then you need to remember what this path is. It shouldn't be too hard. So you've got your Cabrillo file saved. Now it's time. Now what we want to do is export it to the contest sponsor. That particular one, that particular one is CQ Worldwide DX contest. So I have it bookmarked, but however you want to find it, you can Google it and you'll get it. And then this is the home. Okay, this is CQ Worldwide DX contest and this is home. And what we want to do is we want to submit the log. So over here on the right, submit log. So you click on that. And then up comes this page. Which says Cabrillo log upload and it has several questions for you. Which contest is it? That particular one was CQ Worldwide CW. So you check that radio button. Answer the following questions. What was the power? For me in that particular one, it was 100 watts or less, or less than 100 watts. Did you use spotting assistance? Yes, I did. How many people operated during the contest? One person. Then you can either paste your Cabrilla log here or much better, I think, do this choose a file. Choose file to upload. So click on that. And then you've got to navigate to where you save that file. So that's on my D drive in contests. And then I scroll down to CQ Worldwide and where I saved it, 2019, double A. And then there's that log. So you click on it, say, or click on the open. And now then back here on the web page, it says choose file to upload and it has my file there, K7TQ. And then the last step is submit log for checking. So you would click that button right there that says next. And I'm not gonna do that because they're not gonna submit this log, but it, then it asks, it uh, shows you what uh, it found in the, uh, in the Cabrillo file and in, in the log file, and then you, choose some buttons and you push those to actually submit it. So that's how you do CQ worldwide or CQ WPX. If you want, if it was a, an ARL contest, then go to ARL home or ARL.org, find that however you want. Again, I have that one bookmarked. This particular one is home several ways to get to where you need to do. So over here in website search, click on that and type in log submission. And then click on the go. And the first hit is log submission. So we click on that. And right now what it has as, we, as we're recording this is just the recent contests and the one that have ones that are about to come up. But all of them say use web app. So we'll just click on one of them. We'll do the really roundup. The web app is the same or similar for all of them. So you click on the web app and here, similar to what the other one, what the CQ Worldwide one was, a bunch of questions to, uh, to answer. So you answer those 
And here's a choose a file similar to before. So click on that and go to the contest and uh, and choose the, choose the log that you want. Many of the other contests, uh, big, bigger European contests, or even down at the state QSO party levels, have similar things to this, similar question and answer and choose a file to upload. So it's a similar things, but the key is that you always go to the contest sponsor's homepage and see how they want you to submit the file. So we've gone from N1MM, we made the Cabrillo file, you put it in, in uh, export files, then we moved it over to a, a place where we like to keep our files. In my case, I put them in contests and it, in a folder named contest and then the particular folder that uh, is for that particular contest and then the year we put it there. Then we go to the contest sponsor and we find with their log submission, how they want you to do it, either this questions things that I've gone over and or some of them just want you to email it to them and they will give you the email address. So you do that as an attachment to your email. So that's the, how you generate a Cabrillo file from N1MM and submit it to the contest sponsor.